welcome back to the channel everyone. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today, we are going to do a quick tune-up on our KitchenAid mixer. This is the mixer that we use to make pizza dough and a bunch of other things throughout the house. We've had it about seven years, so it's about time to tune it up. I'm not only going to show you how to tune it up today, but I'm also going to show you some of the adjustments that you can make if it is shaking or if you find that it's bouncing around or even if this pin on the side is coming out. Let's get started. Okay, so we've got a couple of things we're going to take care of today. And the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to address the bowl sticking. And so if you have this type of attachment, you actually put the bowl in and turn it. And if you're kneading dough, it gets locked. And so that's an easy fix. What we've done is we went on the internet and for about $5, we purchased a new plate. And so we're just going to swap that plate out really quick and that will fix the issue that we had with the bowl. So let me show you how to do that. If you come up here with your Phillips screwdriver, there are three screws. And so we're just gonna loosen the three screws and set them to the side. And then this will just lift right off. We're going to take our new plate. We're going to set it back in where the old one was and we'll line up the holes. And then we'll replace the screws. And that's going to fix our bowl from getting stuck each and every time. Now there's a couple of more adjustments that we want to make and then we'll be good as new. So one thing you can see is if you look at this hinge pin, the way that this works is it tilts on that pin. And as I knead dough or anything like that in this bowl, this shakes. It shakes quite a bit. And it actually works that pin out. And so what I found myself having to do is push this back in to where it was flush. What you can do to prevent that is there's a screw underneath to tighten it. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we have the pin where we want it. I'm going to make sure that it's locked. I'm going to turn the mixer over. I have a long flathead screwdriver and I'll turn on the flashlight here. Long flathead screwdriver. And if you look in the base of the mixer, there is the screw right there that I need to tighten. And that is what holds the pin. You can see right here, this is the pin that it flexes on. And so I'm just going to insert my flathead screwdriver. I'm going to turn it to the right. There we go. Nice and tight. Now, we have one other adjustment that we want to make. I'll bring the mixer back up. One other thing that I noticed was the head of the mixer was moving up and down side to side. See that? You can kind of hear it. And so in order to fix that, you unlatch the mixer and you tilt it up. And what KitchenAid has done is they have put an adjustment screw right here. And so what you do is if you have it to where it's actually shaking like ours was, that means that this screw needs to come out just slightly in order to prevent that from shaking. And so I'm going to go in here with my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to turn it to the left just very slightly. I'm going to now lock it in place. Let's see how we did. 
maybe just a little bit more. And I'm doing it maybe, maybe a sixteenth of a turn, just slightly. And you can see here now, we have taken care of that back and forth motion. Okay, so let's replace the brushes. One thing you want to make sure of is that you have this unplugged because the brushes are what transmit the electricity into the motor. So there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of whenever you replace the brushes. First of all, the brushes are located behind this plastic screw. There's one on either side and they are set in a specific orientation. So let's look at the brush itself. This is the new brushes that I purchased off of Amazon. You'll notice that the brush is a triangle shape. Inside the motor housing, and we really can't catch it on camera, but inside the motor housing there's a little notch. And that notch is meant to where whenever you put the brush in, the brush will go past the notch. So you have to make sure that the orientation of the brush is exactly correct. So here's how we'll do it. We'll take our flathead screwdriver and we'll take out the first brush holder. Now when this is getting loose, you're going to want to hold on to it because it's a spring and it's under pressure. So you relieve the pressure and then you let it out. Okay. This is a plastic cap that just sets within that plastic screw that we had. Now when we take out this brush, we're going to take note of what direction that triangle is. And so I'm pulling it straight out and when I turn it I can see that down this way is the way that that triangle is located. So when I put the new one in I'm gonna make sure that it's in exactly the same way so it corresponds with the notch inside the motor. So I'm gonna orient the brush just like that. And I'm going to place it into the mixer. Then I'm going to take my cap. I'm going to push and I'm going to turn to the right while I'm pushing until the screw gets started. And then I'm going to turn this just until it's snug. And we'll repeat the same process on the other side. You can see that the notch is up and to the left about the 10 o'clock position. So I'll make sure that the new one is also in the same 10 o'clock position. You can see that this has worn and also the copper has discolored. This is the new one. So we're going to put it into the mixer in the same direction that we took it out. And remember, you take your cap, the spring goes in the center of the cap, you're going to push and turn. Be careful because it's under spring tension and this will go flying. And so you just get the spring started, turn it to the right, just until it's snug. Let's see how we did. Perfect. So just a quick recap, what we did was we adjusted the head tilt to make sure that we were taking care of the moving around. We replaced the connection for the bowl so it doesn't get stuck. 
We also showed you how to tighten the screw underneath that will make sure that this pin does not come out. And then we also replaced the brushes in order to give this mixer new life. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.